Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Now in this video, we are going to be building a car that basically speaks to people, a lot of people, on almost an emotional level. And what I mean by that is... We're building a Miata. I mean, <laughs> it starts out as a lot of people's first car. A lot of people um, in the car community have started out on a Miata. And in Forza Horizon 4, we have the option of turning a Miata into a wide, like, crazy wide-body beast. So what we're probably going to... Oh, my God, the Advan Racing one, though. That's crazy. That's crazy. God, there's so many, there's so many good ones. There, there's so many ones that are so good that, like, honestly, I just, mm, I'm probably gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna go with a color. I'm just gonna go with a color, and then we'll sort the rest out later. Because I, oh my god, I, I just want to get a wide, a proper wide body Miata built, and then we can think about the design. Because I'm, st I'm trying to think, what do I want to do with this car? I mean, like, it's. We're going to do, since it's wide body and everything, we're going to put a drift suspension underneath it so we can slide it around. But, but, I'm thinking to myself, and I think, you know, when I think about this car, I wonder, you know, should it, I'll find new tunes. No, custom upgrade. I can, no, we can tune our own stuff. So, first things first, not that. <laughs> first things first, not the arrow. So, engine, right? So, it's a 94. So, should we stick with the 1.8? Or should we go to a 3.2 liter inline six, which is a 2J, I believe. Um, we could go to a 2 liter inline four VBT engine. We could do a 6.2 V8, which would be silly. We do the 1.6 turbo rally engine, which is actually kind of interesting because it's still a 1.6. Or we could do a four rotor. That's what we're doing. We're doing the four rotor because it's, I mean... Oh god, the fenders didn't load for a minute there, and I was like, uh, that looks a little bit wrong. But, regardless, we've got a massive turbo four-rotor in there now, and we're gonna go ahead and, well, I shouldn't say massive, because it's tiny. Uh, let's see, drift suspension, and let's see, sway bars front and rear, we're not gonna cage this car. We're going to do race weight reduction, which brings the total weight down to 1,996 pounds. Although, we will be doing some other upgrades, so that number may change. Now, we've got our clutch, gearbox, drive shaft, and then diff all bolted up and locked in. And now, we got to do wheels and tires. And I'm thinking for... I think I actually do want to put the Horizon race tires on this car, just because... It's, 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 it's weird, like, just because I want this thing to have some resemblance attraction, because it's a tiny, tiny little Miata, and even though we're fitting two 95s in the rear, we're still gonna need all the traction we can get, so... Wheel-wise, I kinda wanna do something sort of outside the box, um, that could be considered outside the box maybe we, we can come back to it um all of these hres like none of them are like super outside the box i mean these rotiform blqs are kind of they look outside the box but i think they're not um these could be usable the, like usable the rotiform like nues or new i guess is how you would say but hmm yeah, these look strange, the Rotiform VCETs. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go with these. I've never, I've, I don't think I've ever used them on a car before, actually. I, I, I genuinely don't think I have. So 14, 15, 16. Let's do 15s. We'll do 15s all around. 15s just fit well on a Miata. They just work for a Miata. So we'll take the restrictor plates off of that rotary engine. And now we have ourselves a little beast that needs paint. And it needs paint because the wheels and the body color do not match up. They really don't. They're just like, no. So let's go ahead and back out, and then we'll go to our designs and paints. And we will go straight to painting the car. Now, I don't really know what color I want this car to be, like, at, at the moment off the top of my head. I know I don't want it to be lime green, though, so that's, that's for sure. Now, that, though, that, that would be really cool with a different wheel color. 
that would be really cool with a different wheel color. I would have to have a different wheel color to make that work. But you know what? You know what? You know what? That's actually not terrible. That's actually not terrible. I kind of want to run it. And then we'll go straight to the wheels. And for the wheels, I think... Hmm. I think I kind of want to do something that's... Uh-oh. No, I didn't want that, though. <laughs> didn't want that. That's not at all along the lines of what I wanted this car to have. But let's see. Mm, I still don't really... Still don't really dig what it's doing. But let's... Here. So does this... Does turning the brightness down just basically... Okay, so that just pretty much makes... It just brings the shadows out more. So, but it does it a lot on the lip of the wheel, which is interesting. So let's just okay that for now. And then we'll do the, oh wait, we already did the base color. Let's do the flake color. Because the flake color is what will change, like, the, yeah, there we go. That's what's going to change, like, the majority of the, the wheel color itself. That combination is so ugly. <laughs> I was going to say, that combination is so bad. Now, if we turn the brightness all the way down on this, there we go. Okay, and I'm not the biggest fan of that blue lip, especially on this body color. But, but, we can go ahead and do... I was going to say, we can go ahead and do an accent with that that will try to get close to the actual car color, which... Is going to be kind of hard because the car color itself is a weird mix. But. Mm, we may be on to something there. Right about. I mean, just a tiny bit, tiny bit more blue. I was going to say a tiny bit more blue and we might have it. Yeah, right about there. Right about there. Right about there. I mean, it's like. It's, it's like this weird medium because the car changes color and the lips of the wheels don't. But it, eh, I don't know. It's, it's a really tough balance to get right. You know what I mean? It's a really, really, really tough balance to get right. But it's close. And I think for like a quick build, it, it didn't come out too bad. Now, as far as driving it though, that, that is the part I'm looking forward to. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of tuning, and we'll, let's see, we will run, I'm trying to think like maybe a 410, it's going to have so much wheel spin, but screw it, a um, little bit of toe out in the front, and soften the front sway bar, soften it a good, good bit, like soft, soft. And then, and actually stiffen the rear just a little bit as well. And let's see, ride height's all the way down, as would be expected. Um, let's make the front springs just a little softer. And then brakes we'll leave alone for now. And let's bump this up to about, well, I'm going to say, yeah, 100%. And then 75% on D-cell. All right, so our little Miata is ready to go rip, or at least supposedly ready to go rip, and, oh wait, wait, we forgot something, we forgot something, genuinely, because I didn't check to see if there was a big wing option available, let's see, so we'll go all the way over, and there, there may be, a, ooh, oh my god, I love how, like, you have a choice. You can use, like, the Garage Vari lip instead of, like, the Rocket Bunny one if you if you really wanted to. Um, I'm going to kind of keep that uniform Rocket Bunny, but let's see. Racing Beat, Rocket Bunny, let's see, or Mazda to take it off. I kind of like that, but at the same time, I, I don't know. I wish there was a different, like, wing option. Hmm... Or run the Racing Beat rear bumper. And hood-wise, yes, the Garage Vari hood. There we go. Okay, so now, I was going to say, now, now this thing is good. I knew we were forgetting something, and it was a little, like, the little finishing touches on the body. But now that we've got everything and we're good to go, now we should be able to go and run it. And I'm curious as to how that setup is going to react, because I've used that setup on a variety of cars with pretty good success, but... 
Like, this thing, though, like, oh, wow, it changes color a bunch in the sun. My God. And the wheels, holy crap, they change color a bunch in the sun, too. It's very, very different. Like, I don't know how I feel about it now that I've taken it out of the garage. It's lively, though. It's super lively. All right, let's take it down the hill and see what it'll do. You have to keep the revs up. Oh, God. Really? Really, bro? You have to keep the revs up a lot, and obviously because it's a rotary. But also, the, the interesting thing is when you jump from, like, a Formula, uh, Formula D car pack car into something like this... It takes you a minute to realize that you don't need to just be in fourth. You can actually shift up higher than fourth. Which is like a big deal if you've been just shifting to fourth for a while. Might want to make that fifth gear ratio just a little closer. It's super controllable. It's super easy. I mean, it's a Miata, but still... It definitely retains that Miata-ness. Miata character or whatever it is you want to call it, dude. Like, continue my combo just a little bit. I know it's a really ugly way to continue my combo. I just wanted to kind of do a little... Ah, oh, it banked it. Really? I just wanted to do, like, a little, like, tap the wall, and I let it go a lot farther than that. I never, I never take you guys down this way, because this way is actually not bad if you can get a lot of speed going. But yeah, no, this car, honestly, like, it is hilarious. It is absolutely hilarious, and it's fun. It feels so light. I mean, it's under 2,000 pounds. Bro, I thought I had enough room there. God, I have not been, I have not had the greatest of lines in this car. That's not good. Normally, my lines are a lot better than that. But, but that's nothing to dwell on. Let's keep going. Man, when you can get get it going up in like up in fifth at about a hundred miles an hour, like dude, the the turbo like right where like the revs will stop and right where the turbo will hold boost, like dude, you can just rip at like a hundred miles an hour sideways in fifth gear. Not a lot of cars can do that, and this thing is one of them. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. Big burnout. There we go. Yes. It's so much fun to drive. Oh, God. Seeing that Miata steering wheel is just, like, weird when you're hearing that sound and, like, going this fast. Come on. Woo. There we go. Dude, it's such a blast. You need to build one. And honestly, like, this makes me want a Miata. Like, stuff like this makes me want, like, to build a crazy Miata. Like, in real life. Like, I driving this car now, it's like, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't mind having a crazy Miata of some sort. And I just love driving them. And, like, they still, like, they're almost cartoonish to drive. Both in real life and here in Horizon 4. And up the hill. Come on. God, it carries speed like nobody's business. It absolutely just rampages with speed. It is an absolute, like, just rampage machine when it comes to carrying speed. Just absolutely mental. Mental little car. It's like, it, it's like an angry, like, you know those little, you know those little, like, those little, like, 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 wasps, like, yellow jackets and stuff. It's like a very angry one of those. It's like if you took one and, like, like, taunted it a bunch and then, like, shook it and made it really angry. That's what this car is like. That's about the closest thing I can relate to driving this little rotary Miata. Four-rotor Miata. Which to be... Oh, God. Do not look away from the road. 
But, like, that makes me think, like, would a four-rotor even fit in a Miata? I mean, probably. If an LSX can fit in a Miata, a four-rotor should be able to fit in a Miata. I mean, come on. Come on. Oh, jeez. Let's go! I don't know if that restarted that combo or not. I just want to get that message off the screen. Go to Horizon Solo. Thank you! There we go! And you can just keep that burnout going. Like, you roll into the throttle and you keep the burnout going on a, whoo, on a 295! A 295 rear tire. That's so much tire. So much tire. It's ridiculous. And it, yet it's still just... <gasps> oh, man. And yet it still just doesn't care. But you know what? This is actually... I didn't think it was going to be one of my favorite drift cars I've built yet, but it absolutely 100% is. So if you guys enjoyed this video in Horizon 4, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you all later.